been a while since I posted a video. A lot's been going on. My computer's drunk and really slow. So I haven't really been able to edit any videos because it's just too slow. I guess I shouldn't say the computer's junk. It's not junk, it's just old and slow. So to edit the videos, it takes forever. It's a very long process. Anyway, we are headed to Costco for a bit of a grocery haul. So I will film that and you guys stick around if you want to see it. I need one of these. <laughs> what is on this? Oh, this one is what I need. Yeah. That's little. That's a small screen. Yeah. That's okay. How much is that one? 700. Oh. This one's better. Oh, yeah. Or the processor is better anyway. It does smell good over here. <laughs> what we got we got lots of blackberries at home that we picked ourselves for free that's a good deal do we want to get that or do we want to get the frozen one so remember the frozen that we got last time huh I don't know what do you want to Three pounds for four ninety nine. I think last time we grabbed that and then we put it back because we got the frozen ones. It was a better deal. All right. well, we can look. Yeah. Ew. I don't like mushrooms. If you want to get mushrooms. Power greens. <sighs> Baby shard, kale, spinach. $2.99. That's a good price. What will you get? Um, taco salads and stuff. Oh, yeah. Can I get one of those? Yeah. Get one of those. Yeah. Not this one though, because I am so picky about my lettuce. Look at that is a no on that package for me. <laughs> We're gonna grab this big deal of romaine hearts also. Ignore my fingernails, you guys, they're horrid. Uh -huh. I really like to take these and put lunch meat and cheese and mayonnaise and stuff in them and eat it like a sandwich. It's super good, you don't even miss the bread. So we're gonna get this big pack. There's six, I think? Yeah, six in here for $3.99. That's a great deal. Look at these apple pies. It smells so good over here. Sometimes it is hard. Sometimes it is hard. But in the end, I know this is not good for me. <laughs> these muffins, these ch double chocolate muffins, these used to be one of my favorites. Gotta stay away from this stuff. Also, these danishes. Like, that looks amazing. There's ways that you can make these keto, though. I haven't done it, but I know there are ways that you can. This is a great price. $3.69 a pound. It's not the 80-20, but that's okay. Sometimes... For the price, you gotta get a little, little less fat. We're gonna get a couple of these. This um, organic ground beef, we can actually get this for the same deal of four, four ninety nine a pound. I can get this for the same price, um, grass fed, at my grocery outlet for four ninety nine a pound. So we're not gonna get that here. We can get that back at home. 
pork chops. Send me that. Oh. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. What are those skinny ones down there? These ones are so thick. I almost think they're too Bones. thick. I know these ones are really thin. And then there's those. And the lunch meats. Brown and vegetable oil. What? How much is here? Nine, eight, how much is this? Oh my goodness. That's a lot. Oh, I have a hard time spending a lot on lunch meat. Uncured pastrami. Ooh. Chicken thighs. Careful, that's got chicken stuff on it there. These are $2.99 a pound. That's a good price. Yeah. You get one of these? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, this is tenderloins. Thighs are here. I want thighs. That's still $2.99 a pound. Oh. Thigh fillets. Are they boneless? Boneless, skinless. Okay. Yeah, get one of these. Get one of these. Why? Good <laughs> These are good though. You can mix them and do the I know. So I make the olive oil with sriracha yeah. sauce That's and stuff in there. I like it. Just as long as I don't forget and leave them out too long and then make it go out. bad. Yeah. 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 I've done that twice. Twice. Yeah. Chicken too. Scallops. I love scallops. I just don't know how to cook them. Ew, tilapia. Rockfish. Harvested. What? What price are they though? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine a pound. Mm. And you don't get as much. Six pounds. Mm. How much is in the other one that we just got? I know organic's better for you, but when you're feeding three hungry kids also. Six pounds, too. That's six pounds, too? Six point one five. So it's a little more. I know, so let's get some of that. Yeah? Yeah. Get some more carne asada. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was this this one. I keep hearing is really good, and it's pork, water, salt, spice, extract, and sodium nitrate. That's it. Yeah. It was like ten ninety. I can make pulled pork at home though. Yeah. Okay. I want to point these out over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I got a cold or something going on. We just got one of these uh, kielbasa. These are grass-fed, grass-finished. So we're going to give those a shot. They're a little expensive. It is $8.99 per pound. Uh, so, you know, depending on the weight per package. 19 The one we grabbed was nineteen fifty one. I also grabbed this. This is a great deal. $7.99 on 50 ounces of raw organic sauerkraut. <coughs> Ooh, corned beef. We like corned beef. That's not a bad price. Mm -hmm. How much does that weigh? This one is 3.42 ounces. Pounds? Pounds, sorry. Maybe. There's some pork belly. We tried that one. Too. Was Ours was were salted yeah. pork belly, though, and it was Can way salted. I'm going to check these out. Mozzarella, artichoke, and garlic chicken sausages. 
Okay. There is dextrose and there is some sugar, two carbohydrates, one net carb and one gram of sugar per one link. That is not that bad, really. And those look good. Look at that. These are $13.89. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. This is not, that's not cheese. This is cheese. I want to get, oh, wait, you got to get the right one. No, 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 no. It's this one. Yes. $7.89. Grab that sucker. That is so good. I love that stuff. It's so good. And it's really, really good with celery. Okay. I want to I want to find the butthole cheese. <laughs> I don't see it here, though. I don't think it's here. I don't remember the name of it. No queso this time. No queso this time. We did not. I'm sure that's it right there. Yes, it is. Oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> this is keto. I'm pretty sure this is it. Petite best. This is the the butthole cheese that Keto Connect talks about. This is a little expensive for my. If it was cheaper, plus we don't know if we would like it. Like I would want to get it and I want to try it, but I don't want to spend that much. On, how much is this Havarti sliced Havarti for seven eighty nine? Hmm. <clears throat> These are really good. Here's the deal of smoked Gouda. <gasps> the Vampire Slayer. Those are so good. Ten bucks, probably per pound though. Each one is probably different. No? No, it's ten bucks. One pound. There's one pound in there. Ten bucks per Oh, okay. Do we want to get those? Ooh, like they're so good. I could eat that whole thing. For sure. No, it's mine. No. You have to get your own. You sure. <laughs> This is smoked gouda. I love smoked gouda. Seven forty nine. Okay. It's good. It's good, but we wasted almost both. We wasted almost both of those last time we got it because we did not use it like we thought we would. So what is this? Fontina. Yeah. Ten bucks, but cheese is so expensive. Provolone. Nice provolone. We need a lot of that. Yeah, I like the um, smoked. Smoked. We could get some of these. These are the mozzarella things, and we can do that mozzarella and tomato caprese salad or whatever. Yeah. Mm. No? Mm. Eh. Okay. Got Mozzarella snack. Cheese, I know. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that we have four hundred dollars in Costco gift cards. So I'm trying to stretch this out and make it go as far as it can. We'll, over. Um, we'll probably go over. <laughs> How easy is it to go over at Costco, right? There's so much. So trying to be careful. Um, but when we were here last time, we upgraded our phones and um, part of the deal was each one, each upgrade got a $200 gift card. So we waited and waited for them to come in the mail and they came and we were super excited. So now we're here at Costco spending 400 free dollars. I guess it's not free because we're paying for the phones, but. Um, That's free enough. <laughs> yeah, free enough. So like great deal, right? 400 free Costco dollars.
are tiny pieces. Probably good though, because it's uncured. This is dry cured. So this is eight pounds. What? Two two pounds. This oh, four pounds total for the two. Okay. Seventeen ninety nine. Going with the old faithful. No, not uncured. There's probably nitrates in there. Yeah. Okay, did you add that? Did you add it? Yeah, I added it. Gonna grab a package of these avocado oil spray by Chosen Foods for only $5.99. That's a great price. So we're gonna get a deal of that. Yeah, I think they have avocado oil here somewhere. Are they used to anyway? Let's just check out this stevia in the raw here. How much you guys wanna bet? There's maltodextrin in this. Oh no, dextrose though, which you still wanna stay away from. Um. All right, I'm looking. I need to stock up on some spices. I'm also going to grab this big five-pound deal of pink Himalayan salt. That's a really good price. Also, guys, look, I got my favorite McCormick taco seasoning. This was a really good price, too. Four-something, five-something, I think. And like I said, this is the one that I have found that has the cleanest ingredients. If you know of another one, comment below and let me know. There's the avocado oil. Ten bucks. Yeah? You can try that. Okay. Oh, and I want to get this thing of minced garlic. Maybe I don't. There's the coconut oil right there. Cold crust, unrefined, and there you go. Sixteen ninety nine. That's a good deal. That's a lot. That's good. Get it. Get it. That's all cold pressed, unrefined. This is good. That's a lot. 84 ounces. Just the salt. You got the salt? That was it. That was all I got. Um, there's that steak seasoning that Lillian liked. No, it's not that one. It's the chicken one. They don't have the chicken one here. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. We made it back out of Costco alive. <laughs> we used our full $400, and then we also spent another $156. So this is a Costco haul of $556 and some change. I don't have everything on this table because not everything will fit. So I'm going to go through all this, and then I will bring out the rest. So first off, we got our... Broccoli, this was a really good deal. Each bag is four pounds and it was seven, like 49 or something for one bag. So we got two bags of this. Oh, we also did go to Trader Joe's and we got a few things. As you can see, there's the coconut oil there. So there's just a few things from Trader Joe's in here also. Um, we picked these up at Trader Joe's. They're pretty good. Then we got the moon cheese at Costco. These are even better than these. Really good for those. It's a little pricey. I feel 
it was a little over ten dollars for a bag but there are quite a few pieces in there so not too bad um we're almost out of the strawberry spread um this is for my kids so this has lasted us quite a long time um Yes, there's sugar and stuff in this, but this is so much better than the other stuff that's in the store. Uh, a couple of big deals of peanut butter. We got the Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. Uh, this was at Costco. And then we also got the coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's. Um, we decided to give this a shot because I know regular mayonnaise has soybean oil in it. This does not. This is... Um, pretty clean ingredients starts with avocado oil instead of soybean oil so we're going to give this a try and see if we like it this is just going to be for mom and dad though no kids allowed <laughs> uh, we got the big old tub of the Kirkland organic coconut oil this is cold press and unrefined so this is really really good um, back there you see the log cabin syrup. That was a two pack for only $4.99. That is for my kids, not for my husband and I. Of course, we will not be eating any of that. Um, we got a big bottle, 33.8 ounces of the Chosen Foods avocado oil. I have never cooked with this, so I'm excited to try this. I've heard that it's really good and macros are really great. 14 grams of fat per one tablespoon, so that is really good. Um, we grabbed the seasoned roast beef uh, lunch. I guess this is like lunch meat, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is like lunch meat. <laughs> That's what we'll use it like as lunch meat. So we grabbed that. And then I also got the um, this uncured pastrami. I haven't had pastrami in a really long time, and this sounded really good. Good. And those are big pieces. That's big pieces of pastrami. We got the five dozen deal of the cage free eggs. Yes, they have the organic free range ones, but we go through a lot of eggs and this was a better deal. So we went with that one. Um, <clears throat> we have these smoked cooked uh, these are fully cooked smoked mozzarella with artichoke hearts or artichoke and garlic um, chicken sausages, right? These are chicken. Mm -hmm. Yes, chicken sausages. Um, these sounded really good and they were a pretty good price. And there's quite a few of them, quite a few of them in there. We also grabbed these. These are organic, grass fed and grass finished. So I think these are going to be really good. These were a little bit expensive. How much was this? $19.51, but they are organic. They are grass fed and they are grass finished. So you do pay for what you get. So I'm excited to give those a try. Yeah, they'd probably be good with sauerkraut, which we got right here. We got some sauerkraut. This great, it's raw and organic sauerkraut. I wasted a long time not eating sauerkraut because I thought it smelled gross. It does kind of smell gross, but it tastes really good. So we grabbed some of this and it's good for you. The, from, the fermentation in this is really good for you. So I might try and make some. I've heard that it's not hard to make. So anyway, we got one of those. I also grabbed another deal of this artichoke jalapeno and Parmesan dip. I grabbed this last time. This is super, super good. Oh, we forgot to get celery. I'm going to have to get celery because I love to dip celery in this. So I will have to go to my store and get celery. That is super good. We got this organic power greens mix, which has got baby chard, kale, and spinach in it. We will probably use this for our taco salads that we really like to do. Um, this is already washed and ready to go. So easy peasy. I'm super picky about my lettuce too. If I see any like brown piece or little piece that might have some slime on it or something. I don't get it. So we picked through these and found this one. This one looks good and clean and ready to go. Got a big deal of the organic romaine hearts, which I like to put, you can get this canned chicken. We got the canned chicken here. You mix that up with some mayonnaise and whatever seasonings you want, some sriracha, 
pile that up in there with some cheese and stuff, or you can do the same thing with tuna, or you can use the pastrami or the, the roast beef over there and make your own kind of like sandwich. I'm excited about that. That was a really good price too. That was $3.99 or $4.99 or something for all of those. There's six of them in there. So I'm excited about those. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, we got this big. We only got a few things that were not food items. So that's cool. Um, we got this big thing of the Cetaphil moisturizing cream because my husband and I got dry feet. So this stuff is amazing. Um, I highly recommend this. Get the stuff in the tube or not the tube, the, um, uh, the tub, not the pump um, or tube. You want this stuff because it's extra thick and moisturizing. It works really good. Got this for my kids for when they do have pancakes. We don't make pancakes very often, so this is going to last a really long time, as will the syrup because we don't make them very often. So this is for when they do have pancakes. This was a little lower in carbs, higher in protein, I looked for the paleo one that I heard is there that I talked about in my last Costco haul, and they did not have it this time, so I was kind of bummed. We went with this one instead, and this was more expensive than the paleo one. Uh, we got our butter, of course. There was Kerrygold there. I saw the Kerrygold this time. We passed it up. We can get it actually for almost the same price at our grocery store since they dropped the price. So if we want to get some, we can pick it up. Um, I grabbed these binders. This is, was a really good deal on these binders. My kids need them for our history since we homeschool. Um, we're using the mystery of history this year and they need little binders to put their history notes and color papers and projects and stuff in. So this was a good deal. We already started history, and I didn't have binders yet, so now we have the binders, and we can put their stuff in there. Um, got another deal of these light bulbs, because they were still a really good price, like they were last time. I think these were only $4.99, maybe, maybe a little more. So anyways, got these, because they're great, and they were a good price. Um... I also got this big old deal. There are 800 sheets here of copy paper. Our history also requires us to do a lot of printing, and I'm going to need more paper. Probably should have went ahead and got the extra ink also, um, but I didn't. Oh, well. I'll get, get it later. Um, so... <clears throat> I am glad that they had this. This was a really, really good price. Also, like I said, we do, I have to print off a lot of things for our history because of the, um, the things that I got, it's all on a disc instead of already in a book. So I just print it off. So this will come in handy. Maybe I'll end up needing another one. I don't know. We had to get some more dishwasher soap. So I grabbed one of those. Um, there are a bunch of grapes back here. This is from my daughter and her husband's farm. Um, that is, I don't know if how you guys can, if you can tell, that's a lot of grapes. We're probably going to take some and give some to our church. Also, this of course will be for the kids. We won't, I've, I've munched on a few. They're pretty good, but we will probably take some to our church and give some to them as well because I don't want any to go bad. Um, and I feel that way we can give some away. They won't, none of them will go bad. They'll all get used. Uh, we got some sliced cheese here. So there's Swiss, Colby Jack, Cheddar, and Monterey Jack. We got this huge old five pound block of sharp cheddar cheese, which is our favorite. Our favorite is sharp. I also really like Swiss or smoked provolone, but this is a really good price. So we grabbed that. I got... The mozzarella cheese, of course. It's been a while since I made fathead dough or bagels, so I needed the mozzarella cheese. I still have not made the bagel video. Part of the problem is because my computer and the editing, I'm going to borrow my 13-year-old's laptop, 
It's got a much faster processor and more memory and gigs and whatever, all that stuff. So I'm going to try to edit on her laptop instead. So we got those. We also grabbed, as you can see, we've eaten almost all of this. This is one of our favorites, this Vampire Slayer cheese from the Face Rock Creamery. We live an hour and a half away from this place. So whenever we're there, we go in and we definitely sample because they have samples. And this is one of our favorites. Um, grab these from Trader Joe's. Everything but the bagel. I have never tried this, so I was super excited to go find it and get it. It was a really good price, too. I was surprised. Um, so I'm excited to give that a try. Maybe I'll make some bagels and put that on there. But I hear you can put it on, like, a lot of other things, too, because of what's in it. It's just really good to put on all kinds of stuff. Then I also grabbed the seasoning salt because this is very clean. There's no sugar in this. And regular seasoning salt has sugar in it. So I am excited to try this as well. I love to put this on my eggs, like hard boiled eggs. Really, really good. Uh, we also grabbed some nutritional yeast. This was also a good price. This was four ounces for $2.99. Um, at my grocery store, there's dog hair on there. At my local grocery store, it's like, three times that price for this and I didn't want to spend that much so I know this is it's a good good for you I know it has a cheesy flavor we've before keto we um have had this nutritional yeast on top of popcorn and it was really good so I'm excited to start using that I also grabbed this at Costco I am really excited I am not going to have to buy taco seasoning for a while this is one of the cleaner taco seasonings. There's no maltodextrin or dextrose or anything in this. There is some sugar, um, the potato starch and stuff, but it's it's one of the cleaner ones that I have found. So I'm excited that I got that. And this was a good price too, $4.99 I think. And I usually pay about a dollar per pack when I go to the grocery store and I usually get two packs each time when I make tacos. So this is a huge savings. Um, <clears throat> I also grabbed this. My mom told me about this. And this stuff is amazing, you guys. If you haven't tried this, you should. Um, this is really good in all kinds of stuff. And it's clean. Look how clean that is. There is one carb in there, but that's probably... Oh, there is sunflower oil, too. But... It's still really clean. I mean, to me, it's really clean anyway. Maybe not to other people. I don't know. We also, I used up the last bit of pink salt that I had that I got from my grocery outlet. So we grabbed this big five-pound deal of pink Himalayan salt. And this was a good price, too. I think this was under $5. Maybe it was 6 I don't remember. But this will last a while. Grab some regular shredded mild cheddar cheese. Yes, I know that you can shred your own cheese, but I don't have time for that, and I don't like to shred cheese. So we just buy it shredded. I know it's not as good for you. Convenience. Convenience. Plus, it's easy for my kids. So there's that. We got this huge old deal of this laundry soap. I love this laundry soap. It is a little more expensive normally, but this was on sale for under $10. It was $9, no, $8, $8.99, 8 something and there's 210 loads in there. So I really like this laundry soap. It smells really, really good. This was a great price, so I grabbed that. We got the kids the big box of burritos. Excuse my dog. While he's running around like a maniac. He's excited to be home. Um, got these for the kids. These lasted a good amount of time. They love them. This is like a lunch for them or something. So <clears throat> that, those are for them. We are not eating those. We also got from my daughters a bunch of tomatoes. Look at all these tomatoes in here. I'm really excited. And she gave us a whole bunch of other stuff too. 
as you see the grapes back there we got some plums and apples she gave us green beans of course this is not a costco thing here but i'm showing you guys anyway because my daughter was awesome and gave us all of these i'm there's some peppers in there there's some onions um i don't know what to do with these she tried to tell me i don't know you guys what do you do with these something about making chili i don't know um, what's in here? Oh, here's some more. I got some jalapenos, I think, in here, and some other peppers. There's regular, regular green peppers and jalapenos, and I don't know, I don't know what all these are. They live in a place where it's a lot warmer, and they can grow more things than we can. And then she also gave me these onions. Look at these. Big old onions. These look so much better than my onions. You guys, my onions that I planted, if you've watched my other, any of my other videos, my onions that I planted in our church garden, they look nothing like this. I'm so disappointed. I don't know. Hopefully they grow more. Um, and then we also got this dog food for my dog. This is 33 pounds and it was 27, $27, I think. This is a good dog food. It's grain free, all of that good stuff. Um, it's got probiotics in it. He really likes it. Smaller pieces, which he likes. He's not a small dog, but he likes the small pieces for whatever reason. So we started getting that for him, and that should last for a while. He only gets two cups a day, sometimes a little more. Um, but that should last him for a while. The last bag did. Okay, so now we have the meat portion here. We did, we did not get as much meat this time. As the last time, but we got more like ground beef and we got these organic chicken thighs, which are a little more expensive, but they're still cheaper. Organic, the organic ones are $3.99 a pound. So this is $25.78 because this is almost six and a half pounds. But the normal, non organic, whatever ones at my grocery store in town are like $4.99 a pound. So this is still even cheaper than that. And we really want to try to do more organic if we can with some things <clears throat> when we can. So this time we had the gift card. So we're like, hey, let's let's go ahead and get the cool organic ones. Um, we got this. It's 8812 uh, ground beef. And we got two packs of those. That's almost $50 in hamburger meat right there. Um, we got the... Beef hot dogs, mostly for the kids. We also got buns for them. They're up in the cupboard. I didn't show them. Some of them got a little smash because a certain person who loaded everything in the car um, wasn't paying attention. He shall be unnamed. <laughs> then we got this also. We got this last time. This was like carne asada style cut. This is the round. Sorry for the shadow. This is the round bottom round which is kind of like carne asada style uh, meat. I know there's some discoloring here, but that's because there was stuff that was set on top of that. So anyway, so we got the four pounds of bacon, which we're not going to use right away because before we left, I bought a three pound pack at my local grocery store because they were having a really, really good deal on it. Uh, I only ended up paying $6 and some change, um, which is really good. For here, anyway. So, well, yeah, because this was still, this was almost $15, I think, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. For four pounds. So, yeah, so the three pound deal was really good. So, we're not using that yet. Plus, our daughter got a bacon ends and pieces for us when we were there visiting her. So, I'll use that up. That's already in the fridge. So, this, we're going to have bacon for a while because this is going in the freezer till we're ready to use it after the other stuff is used up. And we also got these. You guys know from one of my other grocery hauls, these Teton Waters Ranch, um, what are these ones? Are these like hot dogs? What are they calling these? Polish sausage. Um, they were sampling these and they're really, really good. But you guys know from my other video <clears throat> from another grocery haul um, at my grocery outlet, the um, jalapeno and cheddar ones. They are amazing. I wish they had those at Costco, but they do not. But we went ahead and got these. I also got another pack of this. This is four. There's four in here. 
of the sirloin tip roast. So that's a good four meals, unless I cook two together, which sometimes I do, and then that way there's plenty of leftovers for another time, and then I don't have to cook the next day. So, you know, that happens too. We also got a corned beef. We really liked corned beef. I didn't know that I would like it till my daughter got us some one time. When she came to visit, she brought it down, and we all love it. The kids love it. So I may have, um, I might have, maybe should have got two of those, but that's okay. And then we also got two gallons of milk. Those are for the kids. So there's the meat portion of this. I do have some other things to get locally <clears throat> also. So, but this is a good, I mean, this hamburger, I do a lot of stuff with, with ground beef. So, um, there's a lot here. It's a lot of hamburger, so that's a lot of meals there in itself. Um, and then this is six and a half pounds almost worth of chicken, so there's probably at least two meals there. Um, anyways, so there is our Costco haul. This time, $556 worth. I think we did pretty good. We tried to be really careful and think about things that, you know, what, like, the stuff we got last time, you know, okay, we got that. We thought we were going to use it and we thought we'd like it and we didn't. So we were a little more cautious this time with what we got. And I think we did pretty good. So, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys were able to get something out of it. Hope it helped you out in some way. Um, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram, Jody Going Keto. I post a lot of food there, weight loss updates, life updates. Um, that's a good place to follow me to get ideas for meals and snacks and to find out how I'm doing on my weight loss journey. Um, eventually, once I get a better computer or laptop, I'll post more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll po post more things on YouTube as well, but for now, Instagram is where a lot of it's at. <laughs> so, um, anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and remember to always keep it simple, keep it easy, and keep it keto. Thanks for watching.